I just noticed I've I had this whole This is my first full stream as an affiliate, so we're doing a build randomizer. I just I, I said a whole minute's worth of things with the the volume muted. But I can say it faster now, so we're just gonna get right to it. We got eight of these categories and we can pick between one through eight. We're gonna pick five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so twenty-one. Uh, Kimbo pistols can be good. I don't know if I should be concerned. I'm just, I'm curious. This can go places. Okay, Kimbo Metevers. Uh, we got four of these categories. We'll take a look at what number I grabbed in just a second. Out of four, one. Oh, we're doing all pistols. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. What? 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 23. <laughs> the Akembo HRLs. Uh, 20. So 23, 22, 21. 22, 23, 22, 21. Okay. Alright. <sighs> Welcome, sticky note. What am I getting? Six. You know what? I'm fine with Crook. But I've got to know. Crook. Sicario. Sicario. Uh, we're sticking with Crook. If one of those was Hitman, then that would have been great. But we'll just stick with Crook. I can make this work as a Crook build. Except none of these weapons are concealable. Wait. I've got the stock on this thing and it only improves the stability. Remove. <laughs> Why is it so long? <laughs> it's like the big kill from Sam and Max. The barrel's so long and just. <laughs> it just collapses. Altstone's hair. What is. That's gross. Um, that's. Oh, okay. Justice Pearl is neat. I'm pretty sure this is the thing that, uh, um, Mer uh, Merceau. This is what Merceau used to kill the man. Uh, 18, 22? 22 delightful clowns. I'll get number 15, 12. Ooh. Reroll. Uh, I play enough Sydney. God dang it, come on. Number other than 15. Sure. So we got the Akimbo Metevers, which I haven't run, but I don't mind the Metevers. I should probably throw a laser on these. Um, yeah, my stability is four. No, my stability is zero. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, you're getting one of these bad boys. Not much I could do to them. Speaking of not much I could do... What are you supposed to do with this thing? This... It's ridiculous. How long do you think this barrel actually is? It's called the precision barrel. Add a sniper scope? This thing can't take a scope. But, yeah, it, okay, it is just like a foregrip and a sight away from being a sniper rifle. I will right, give you that. I'm gonna say that's two feet long. That's probably gotta be. Uh, we have Wix Ursitanto. Um, Ursatanto is probably correct. Uh, nice little straight knife. It's okay. It's a knife. Throwing axes, I believe, are the ones that you get six of. The, the ones that you get six of throw slower. The ones that you get three of. And then I, I kind of just... Armor. Because this is crook. Armor, accuracy, stability... This stuff, this stuff, this stuff. Also, by the way, we get all that stability, but the Metevers. This is only hit four. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. This is gonna blow. He's just driving on the sidewalk. He's a bad driver. Whoa. Whoa. We've got to turn off display capture and go to game capture now, because we're in the heist. Oh. Hello? Did anyone else see the ghost who... <laughs> ah. Alright. 
Okay, so... Oh, we're actually playing a song I like. So, it's, it's, it's really style over substance with this thing. Um... I love its animations. Come on. But reloading it is a mess. Unless you have bots and um, just one taser. It's, it's well animated, but like the normal reload speed is miserable. <laughs> he will sound like she just like had bad like nachos for lunch doesn't sound like something getting shot at oh my god we need loads of dingus huh hello howdy there we go we did it I've got no way to deal with a lot of people. But, like, it's clear whoever animated this thing really had a fun time animating it. But... It's just... Not a fantastic weapon. Unless you've got a powerful melee, bloodthirst, and you only play with bots. Like, you put all those things together, and then you get something kind of good. But without, then you just have a really... The boring, lame. Also, the stock should improve accuracy, not stability. Where's the cloaker, Gila? Now these things. Should have had fanfire instead of zoom and good hip fire accuracy. Yeah, I mean you could probably do something like that, or almost have it be like where you switch to fan the hammer, like the like. You hit, you fire it normally, and you have a lower rate of fire. And then if you press 4, you switch to fanning the hammer, which then increases your rate of fire, maybe doubles it, but lowers your accuracy and stability. And then just give it just a faster reload. Just like this animation, but... No. I think, I think the long and short of it is there's a million better ways they could have handled... There goes all my health. Um, there's a million better ways they could have handled doing a weapon like this. And they objectively went with, like, one of their, like, one of the worst options. Not the worst. Wait, does this revolver have a Kimbo? Okay, so the Peacemaker cannot be fired a Kimbo. No shell loader, no shell loaders can be fired a Kimbo. That includes, like, the, the locomotive. And you cannot fire the AP pistol. Um, Akimbo. Akimbo Peacemakers doesn't exist, and I think we have a better world and a better society for that. Ron. His existence in this game actually makes me sad. And it's like... Ron Perlman is a great actor. I should rephrase that. Ron Perlman can be a great actor. But when he's phoning it in, boy howdy, he's phoning it in. And this is a case of Ron Perlman phoning it in probably worse than I've ever heard anyone phone things in. He's phoning it in harder than me calling for pizza. And the end result is it's just a, a bored, tired... This is really screwed. Um, it's just a really bored performance. And I think we could have gotten better. I mean, he openly admits he just did it for the paycheck. And I'm... I would sooner put the blame on Overkill on this one. I, I am pretty sure they just told him, do a cool guy voice. They probably didn't give him much direction. They built... It's just... It's you! But robbing banks. And he's like... I mean, whatever, right? And then he just said whatever he wanted. And they were like, yeah, this is cool. You're a cool guy, dude. 
We, we love your work. Oh, I got an achievement for using the knife. There's, there, there's something wrong with this pistol. And the fact that Overkill at one point was like, well, what if we just raised the damage? And then they're like, yeah, let's not do that. And then it was like, well, let's give it armor rounds. Let's not do that. Like, they've had ideas on how to fix it, and they've put none of them into play. Also, trying to rapid fire with the iron sights is the most distracting thing I've ever seen. The metavers are really good. Reload's a little longer than I would have liked. But that's whatever, you know? Maybe they should have given it the fear effect. Oh, automatic fear, maybe. I love switching to it. Especially this fast with the, the whoosh noise. The foley is good. The foley is really good. Oh, we're going to the sewers. Thank God. We're almost out of here. Oh my God, I'm getting achievements left and right. Oh, don't be sneaky. There you go. Yeah, get out of here. You, sir. You, sir. Who wants some bullet? You want some bullet? Hello. You could have played Sydney, you know. Um, I could have. I rolled Sydney twice in a row, but... I feel like I've already said all I need to say about Sydney. I love I I love Sydney for her personality. She's just a very upbeat, fun character. I love the I love the hair. The suit is nice. She's a good character. And very contrary to what um, Payday usually has, but I think it's done in a very good way. Why are people like oh sure? No, I legitimately think. She's a fun, upbeat character. I feel like it's like the type of character they tried to do with Jimmy, but just like, first of all, not a promotional tie-in. And second of all, just well-written and well-performed. I'm Okay, that's mean. Shoido Copley is well-performed. He, he, he's a great actor. Where's my other bot? Um, he's a he's a superb actor. I love Charlito. But that was a promotional tie-in. He's not really like his own character. He's not like a heister. He's just a Jimmy who heists. And also he doesn't like he hasn't been called back. No, no. That was scary. He hasn't been called back, and he's a busy man, I get it. It'd be nice to have him back. Um, I feel like, um, I feel like Georgia Van Kolenberg was just a lot closer to the developers. Um, she did that, um, that one event with Almir where he shaved his beard and she swam the English Channel and made fun of him. That was good. I just feel like Georgia was, like, closer to the development of the game. She's done good voice acting for other things, too. There's like a Finding Nemo, like, 4D ride that she narrates. And it's probably only because that film takes place in Australia. Rust is like the anti sydney He's just a boring, dull character that has zero differences from his actor. It's literally just Ron Perlman with a clown mask. And he plays his character from Sons of Anarchy with a clown mask. It's just, it's not an inspired character. And he sounds like he's just having a miserable time recording these lines. And I totally get it. Voice acting is draining. But, as a counterpoint, he was Mr. Lancer in Danny Phantom, and that character is great. And that's kind of what I was hoping when I heard, oh, Ron Perlman's playing a character. I hope it's kind of 
like a nerdy guy that the Payday Gang believes is super tough and badass, but he really isn't. And like his whole like perk deck would revolve around, for lack of a better term, nerd rage. It's like you get like 10 seconds where you just shrug off, almost like uh, Kingpin, um, where you just shrug off damage for a short amount of time and then you'd build it back up by scoring kills. And like his character would be like super afraid to swear, but they're just like, oh, it'll be Ron Perlman. But he swears and also has a bike. And it's like, cool guys. You, you want to try that one again? You want to you want to make a you want to make a character this time? Uh, once you finish this heist, you need to check your off-topic channel in the Discord server. I'm going to regret this. Off-topic. I find this funny. Cloaker got him. Fair enough. Why have I become a meme? Okay, okay. You guys brought it back around. <laughs> I completely approve of this last one. This one's good. This one's good. <laughs> because it also sums up how I feel. Anyways, Metever 357s. They're okay. Uh, the damage is a little ridiculous. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Minigun, Rocket Launcher, Dodge. I've never played any of the Call of Duty games. Uh, do you want daily memes of yourself? I'd rather not daily memes. But, I don't know. This one's good. Don't milk it. I don't want to be. Ups I don't want to be burnt out from looking at my own face. So, I mean, I don't think there is much else to say. This thing is dumb. It's got good sound and good animations, but it's dumb. Ursa Tonto is a knife. It's a knife and payday. Uh, the throwing axes. I only threw a one enemy. Um, yeah, these are the faster ones. The knives are kind of slow because there's like a draw and then a throw, whereas the axe you just have the throw. And it feels better. Um, Crook is my favorite dodge deck. And it's also my favorite armor deck. How convenient. <laughs> and it's because I normally don't run the ICTV. I'm going to run the white ballistic vest. Because I like the movement speed. And I like... Like, look at this. 136 armor. That's 100 more armor than the suit. And number two. Oh, we're getting the shotgun. Of which there are nine. Please don't be the breaker. Oh, the stakeout. Um, the stakeout's a weapon I have conflicting thoughts about, so that'll be great. Please, all, please. Uh, ooh, a special. Uh, we got eight. We got eight specials. So that means this is gonna go, all gonna go wrong at dessert. I'm taking it and running. I'm taking it and running. No, no, I broke it. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, maniac, anarchist, biker. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Sociopath. <laughs> Don't question. <laughs> Do not question. <laughs> I will accept the charges. This kind of just looks like every, <laughs> like, 25-100 I've seen. <laughs> this is like every 25-100 sociopath build. <laughs> Grin mask. We got the stakeout, the katana, the molotovs. We've got converts. We've got the shotgun skills. We have Iron Man basic, swan song. This is going to be a good one. I just realized back at the beginning, I said something about Dungeons and Dragons, and I never finished my thought, and that's the same thing that happened when we last talked Dungeons and Dragons in the City Skyline stream. So the different, like, stats kind of just have very loose like in like descriptions and they're intentionally vague to help facilitate building a character play hoxton breakout you're crazy but just crazy enough i was just gonna let it generate and i was actually tempted to click stealing christmas but i've played stealing christmas like 30 times i've played this on death sentence more than i've played some missions Ever. So, yeah, that's crazy, but we're going to do that. But the descriptions for the different stats are intentionally vague, so that helps facilitate building a character that suits you. Charisma doesn't say, like, 
oh, your character is suave or anything. It's just people tend to agree to this with this character. And I had this mental image in my head. I'm like, we could make this work. You just make a character. Let the insanity begin. You just make a, you just make a character who is so like adorable and agreeable, who's got a really high charisma stat, and that's the explanation for why. And now I want to play that character, and I want friends who know how to play D and D, so I can make this character a reality. And then I just like try to sell like Girl Scout cookies to the evil wizard or something. All right, hello. Two whole converts. Gee, Houston, how come your build up you have two converts? Don't act dumb. There, there's a meme for you. That's my other favorite meme. Watching this and avoiding homework because Unity is a bitch. It is. Every game engine is bad, but they're all differently bad. Which is the exciting part of game design. It's like... What makes Unreal different from Unity? A whole lot of jank. I mean, honestly, what makes Engine A different from Engine B is a whole lot of jank. Uh, da, da. uh Come on. There we go. Uh, give me armor. 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 Where is my armor? Oh my god! Do you eat your McDonald's with or without the peel? Without. They won't be able to catch up to- Oh my god! Hila! Where am I going? How's the family? What, did I say something wrong? That's still just like the saddest- Jesus, what is happening? Y'all, just be, like, normal for three seconds. Oh my god, this isn't going well. Day, day... Day two, hopefully, will go a lot better. Because day one ain't going so hot. The streets are rough. Okay, so, he says draw fire from the truck, like them shooting the truck and make this mission fail or something. But it can't. Uh, uh. Everything is heist is going wrong. Everything is on fire. Uh, come on. Yep, there he is. Ah, uh, he was in the swivel chair. Speaking of which, are you ever going to play Civilization 6 for the channel? I own five... I've never loaded five. I've owned five for two years, and I've just never bothered to even install it. So I would... Maybe five? Maybe not six. I've already got one of them. If I bought that one, I never played it, and I just bought a new one, I would kind of... I'd feel guilty. I'd feel like I wasted my time and money. So... Play five. Um, I've never played Civ, so it's just me that Game Grumps episode where they play Civilization forever and like nothing happens and then they crash the game at the end. It would just be that. Speaking of which, like we got our first Steam Train content from Game Grumps in like two years the other day when Ross and Danny streamed. And that just made me really miss steam train and i miss grump cade and what they've replaced it with is just not good and i i'm not i'm not a fan i don't know what they're doing to the channel but game grumps ain't what it used to be i actually i really genuinely miss um danny's first year on the channel i think that was some of my favorite game grumps he just had like a cool personality and he's i mean sure I get it. 
but he's really mellowed out. He used to be weirder. The one thing I will give them, though, is I've liked what they've done with Guest Grumps. It's effectively just become Grumpcade, but this time with Celebrity. Although one time it was with Jesse Cox, who is just... He was already a gamer. Uh, the episode, the episodes they did with Weird Al were really good. And Weird Al is really good at Wheel of Fortune. What happened to Steamrolled? Same thing that happened to the other Steam Train stuff. Ross just kind of got bored and went on to draw uh, horny monsters. And play uh, the other one. What's it called? Uh, Beat Saber. But he doesn't really work with the Game Grumps too much anymore. I believe they're funding his one show, but, like, that's it. And then, I don't know, like, ugh. Beat Saber is rad, though. I've never played it. It always looked like a game I would be terrible at. And everybody I've ever seen who's played it is just really good, and I don't know how or why. Which has made me even more scared to play it. We haven't talked any of these weapons. I don't have sound on for nearly all of my games. That may That's understandable. I'm surprised you haven't named something the Go Home Gun. The Ruby Slippers. <laughs> this bullet and the hammer are my Ruby Slippers. I'm gonna clack them three times and you're going home. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, that was a sieve. Was it? No, she's still alive. Ugh. Man. Man, that really makes this game feel like Shadow Warrior. I don't have a sniper handling option, so we're just going to use this. Don't stab me. Update. Broke Unity. That's just how Unity works, Dan. I hate to break it to you. That's just how Unity works. <laughs> That's how Mafia works, but it's a glitched, like, wireframe. That steps up and then ragdolls, and that's how Unity works, appears, and then it crashes. Play New Vegas? I haven't beaten New Vegas. I've tossed around the idea of doing a stream play of Fallout New Vegas. I've just, I've never actually done that, though. Um, you need 74 files to commit. Has 2,050 files. I don't know what you need whatever to commit means, Dan. I've used Unity. I've never had that number come from. I've had it where it refuses to update my build until I cha until I update the API, but then when you update the API, all the movement breaks because they got rid of a certain movement thing that I somehow, out of all the movement options, was the one I was taught. So then when they got rid of it, I didn't have any options. Um, but I haven't talked these weapons. Stakeout is fine. Um, the rocket launcher kind of blows. I would rather have a grenade launcher. I love the katana. It's easily the game's best melee. Um, Sociopath is a fun deck. But ready to play New Vegas, but mod it to absolute insanity. I actually... I have New Vegas mods. Don't have many. Um, after I spent like two weeks trying to install Tale of Two Wastelands, I don't even really play Tale of Two Wastelands anymore. Like, just installing it burned me out, so I don't play it. But I have the Ithaca. I have an unlimited level cap. I believe I can go up to 255. I have a perk every level. I have more perks, and that's about it. Um, I don't really bother with the, the super big total conversion things, like the skies or the weather. I don't bother with any of that. I just I play the game how it was, play the game how it was designed. Because Sawyer and Avalon built a good game. They're not ready. There we go. Hello. <laughs> that was just... That wasn't even fair. That wasn't even fair. Play Gary's Mod with somebody? Okay, so my copy of Gary's Mod takes forever to load, and all the mods are outdated, so it's all broken. I have to actually probably go through and clean out and restock my mods, because I've still got files from Life TM 
the the HDR grading mod in there. That's been taken off of the workshop for four years or like three years. Like they ran into a problem with that one, so they took that one down. You have like twenty. I'm aware, Dan. I'm aware I have too many. I don't know how else I'm supposed to deal with these snipers, so I'm using the rocket launcher. Although I'm running out of ammo. I also have not seen any other key cards. Oh, Jesus. That's the man. He's got the plan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, that's the man. He's got the plan. And he's running right for me. That was the wrong dozer. Oh, he's going to space. I've been making memes of you in the server. It's an official template now. Um, just use it responsibly. It's... It's my face. I have the right to be like, yeah, I don't want my, f I don't want my likeness attributed to this. Yeah, this is okay. This is going way better. Day two, day one's rough. Day two. Yeah. Th okay. Yeah, this is working way better. I mean, this is kind of just a good build. I would again replace the rocket launcher with either the China Puff or the Compact Forty. If I were running this for real, but a random number generator built me an actually, like, viable build. And you can't call it faked because you watched it live and I used, like, an actual proper random number generator. Then again, last night, well, oh wait, no, that's not Fishy. Fishy last night was telling me, he was trying to give me bad mayoring advice in City Skylines. Um, but Fishy had this idea last night. Build, build a big ditch. Put a federal prison at the bottom. Once it's full, you've got canals surrounding it. I bumped the mic, sorry. Um, once it's once the prison is full, open the canals and flood them, killing them all. The problem is the prison's a hundred and twenty thousand dollar expenditure, and to just build like a Glomgold esque death trap is stupid. Hundred three percent accuracy, five downs, two hundred nineteen kills. It's worth it. He's still in the chat. <laughs> Sorry, Fishy. You had some dumb ideas, but I thought they were at least worth talking about. Um, speaking of worth talking about, this build, not really. I like Houston. He's my favorite of the Chicago heisters. I like him more than I like Dallas. I really feel for his younger brother mentality. He, um, um, our good old friend of the Big Scrungo, which is called the stakeout is pretty good loaded up with buckshot loaded up with explosives loaded up with flechettes of dragon's breath you really can't go wrong Sokol is best Sokol is my husbando are you Connor Shaw in disguise because Connor said the same thing in their review of the Sokol pack our good old friend the rocket launcher no bueno so cool. Other human beings. Um, you want to make this build fun? Now let's not jump to conclusions. Sounds like something Connor Shaw would say. So now I've made this build actually like viable. You just run the China Puff. Um, but on its own, this bad boy isn't very good. Shinsaku so Shinsaku to Katana. That's good. It's a good weapon. Molotovs are good. Sociopaths pretty good. Death Wish it's a little fiddly. But on the whole, second build was a pretty good build. It held up the Death Wish, shocks the breakout, and I got to talk about a lot of wacky things. Um, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So this was the one that we already showed off. Can I make these full screen? They make no, they don't get bigger. So we've already seen this one. This one's wholesome. I like this one. <laughs> Commando 101. 
Why is this one stretched? Why is the text of this one stretched? Cop convert, non-cop that has a gun. <laughs> uh, these are all good. Like, I was expecting these to be used for evil, but they're being used for good. <laughs> that face when you watch out the captain, yeah. Using Swan Song to get out of cover. Using it to get out of cover and kill Ally. Well, I needed to kill the other people. I needed to blow them up. Nah, but thank you, Ringo. You've... You've made it good. You've made it good. Um, the, these are so far good. I was expecting these to be used for, like, mean things. The, these are being used well. Um, I... Whoa! That's a sound! Thanks for becoming a patron, Link Blades. Oh, you're renewing! Okay, cool. That sound really scared me for a second. Um, thank you, dude. Thank you for becoming a patron, Bioserotonin. Oh, because it's the start of the month. <laughs> They're renewing their Patreon subscriptions. One more? There it is, Tuneful Lizard. That was completely not intended. That was not intended. Uh, we got a patron shout out right at the end. If you like my videos and you'd like to see more, I'd recommend subscribing. Patreon and social media links are in the description. I needed to add that, so I have to, I'm saving myself work when I go to edit later. It's already there. Movie magic. Movie magic. <laughs>